Huh, I've just exited cell phone carrier hell. Hey everybody, this is Tom with Tom's Talk Show. And you know, there's all of these cell phone carriers out there that uh, claim better price, better this, better that. And so I've been through, I've tried a couple of them and moved everybody in my family over from one to the next, to the next. And of course, everybody has seen many on many videos is the the Pure Talk. I mean, a lot of websites will, uh, YouTube channels will, will uh, advertise that and put that out there that it's great. They've been using Pure Talk forever and blah, 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 whatever. So I had a, and this is an LG V60 Think phone extremely new extremely everything and you go to their website and you put in your IMEI and it comes back and says you're good to go your your phone is compatible your blah 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 so I did that with all our phones they said all our phones are compatible okay so then I switch everything over to pure talk and the first thing they tell me we start having problems our phones are not you know working right there's data problems and everything else and they say oh you have to buy all new phones so it's a full bait and switch complete I mean don't even try because as soon as you get there you know I tried putting in my this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max whatever uh, this phone they said oh no we're not going to support that anymore because you know we, you need to buy new phones from us so it's a big scam completely we immediately moved off of that company um, over to a different company that was, you know, there everything's saying, you know, it's cheap stuff. We go over to this other company called Hello Mobile. And uh, if you want to know bad <laughs> cell phone companies, well, hello, you just need to change it to say goodbye mobile because that's all you're going to get. I mean, we they could never get this phone. This is iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? They could never get it to be. 5g ever and in order to do any navigation map navigation around town you're going somewhere new that you haven't been to before you have to download the map while you're at home on wi-fi because you're just you're not going to get it out on the road you're just it the data was so horrible the speeds were so horrible and they're they come back and say, well, you're just in a bad area. I'm like, okay, so you use T-Mobile towers, don't you? Well, yes, we use some were on their towers or whatever. So then I would show them my my iPad, with, which is on T-Mobile, which up in the corner is screaming 5G. Right from the same, you know, these two devices side by side. Okay, you're telling me you can't do it, but I got a device right here that says you can. Right, so it's just very, you know... A lot of quirky things like that, a lot of tell you one thing, do another thing, you know, completely. Um, then trying to move away from this company, uh, their chat support, online support can do nothing. And they can copy and paste. They have, oh, they have to answer the question, they copy and paste. And then you answer it, they, and then they take that and they copy and paste. And that's all they can do. They can't really do anything for you. And uh, it, it's, very frustrating when you're trying to port your lines away. So I get a hold of them on, you know, Saturday. I think that was the 10th. Uh, what day was, was that the 10th? Yes, yeah, Saturday the 10th. I get a hold of them and say, I'm leaving. I'm exiting your company. Service has been horrible. Customer service has been horrible. Uh, communication stuff. You're not supporting my devices and everything. I'm getting out. I'm leaving. I'm exiting. Please set up my lines so that I can port and move away from your company. Well, they give me all the PIN numbers to port all the lines over, but they didn't bother unlocking any of the lines. So they don't tell me that, right? I mean, if I go to someone and say, I'm exiting your company, I'm leaving, I'm never coming back here, you know, no, I am recommending everybody stay away from you. Um, and then you give me pin numbers for all of my phones the logical assumption is i've told you i'm leaving i've told you i'm getting away i'm porting my lines out the logical assumption would be that you unlock the damn lines did they no so i go over to t-mobile and i get you know all my sim cards and everything and everything moved over and then 
the lines never port, they never move. So, and I wait Sunday and then Monday, I get a hold of these T, these Hello Mobile people and they're like, the chat is like, well, we can't do anything for you here. So don't even bother using that chat. That chat thing is garbage that's on the screen. It doesn't do anything. A bunch of, you know, unintelligent people who cannot help you in any way. All they can do is tell you to email support. So I emailed support. You got to email them your ID, you know, so that they can, you know, do something. So I'd email them and never hear from them for days, days upon days. They said, well, it takes up to 24 or 48 hours. I'm like, it's been 72 hours. It's actually been longer than that. It's been almost five days, right? So you people just, they're just not on the ball at all. They have no idea how to run a company. They don't know how to, how to do cellular so just, I mean, it was, it was crazy. I finally, I finally ended up to get movement, right? Had to report them to Better Business Bureau, had to report them to the FCC that they're holding my numbers hostage and they're not letting them go. Um, so, th and that was, you know, finally today I got on there and they were able to send me messages and email to get, codes, whatever, to unlock my lines. And then, you know, three minutes on T-Mobile and boop, 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 boom, you're back, you're done. So we came from T-Mobile, went through these other companies, and now we're back at T-Mobile. And so it's it's just kind of a buyer beware. I mean, all these other companies say, we run on all the other lines. We run on, all, you know, their system. We're on all the other big things. We just buy lines from them. Well, they buy lines from them, but they're only buying, you know, the cheap version, right? If if T-Mobile needs bandwidth, they're not going to give it to their third-party people, right? They're not going to give it to the MVNOs. They're going to keep it for themselves, and you get screwed if you're on an MVNO, one of these virtual device carriers. So we're back at T-Mobile. Um, at the moment, the actual second that I put the SIM card into uh, this phone. We'll just go there just to put it on the screen. So the second I put the T-Mobile SIM card into this phone, it was blasting 5G. And then it went to like ultra 5G. And then I was getting like 500 meg down and, and, and crazy, crazy speeds. I could actually navigate around town without... I could... I could go say, hmm, that podcast looks pretty good. Let's listen to it. On Hello Mobile, it's click, hear nothing, fail, 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 download, fail, 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 fail. On T-Mobile, it's like click, play, instantly, boom. It's already done. It's already downloaded. It's already moving on, right? I mean, just night and day. So, yeah, I know T-Mobile, you know, basically supports things that you don't, you may not like. Um, but if you got to have cell service, you got to have cell service. If you're running a business and you need to get phone calls and you need to get data in order to do things, uh, sometimes you got to, you know, make a compromise here and there. So I guess the, the thing is to make the least amount of compromises, right? But so anyway, we are back. I mean, I got the iPhone because, uh, my, uh, tick watch was getting old and it was just really being very hard to use and i got you know an apple watch and you can only have that with an iphone so and this thing works extremely well it's an iphone apple watch 7 works extremely well so and now that i got all the other good data going on i'm i'm a happy person now so that's good so i think the biggest thing is to beware of these other mobile services and especially beware if you understanding that if you have problems on a mobile service and what support are you going to get um half the time on hello mobile they'd say we don't accept chats on our website anymore you have to go to facebook messenger then i go to facebook messenger and it says nobody's here to answer your call so <laughs> you know don't tell me to go there and then have nobody be there and then some guy would get on and say, oh, we can fix your 5G on your phone, you know, do all this stuff. It never worked, never came back, never did anything. Just 
never even oh your your phone's not compatible with like whatever I think I think the world is not compatible with you so hence the exit hence the back to T-Mobile <sighs> it's it's been a long couple of days uh, chatting and emailing at one point I was emailing their support every two minutes for like three hours so just to fill their email box up saying you know you and then they never respond right the hello mobile people they never respond okay i sent this email into support and it's been three days i haven't even gotten i've gotten no response i've gotten nothing back from them so and that's always you know horrible at communication horrible at support horrible at you know their data and i would have drop calls all the time all that stuff just crazy i'm not that rural i'm right i mean i live near tampa right that's you know i think we got cell service in tampa so all right well thanks for watching uh just be aware if you're thinking about getting one of these cheaper characters carriers you do get what you pay for all right thanks for watching take care